Once the bottom plates were sitting on the build cradles and have been tack welded together, the next step is to make and install the two main bulkheads. These bulkheads go either side of the engine bay and create quite a lot of, sort of central structure of the boat. They're shipped in two halves and that's because they'd be too big to ship otherwise. So you have to join them together before you can install them. But before doing that we added the stiffeners. The steel used for the bulkheads is 5mm thick. The stiffeners are used to flatten out and stiffen up the plate before installing. And we decided to do that before we added the two halves together because it flattened the centre seam making it easier to achieve a good butt weld there. The location of each stiffener is clearly marked on each plate so it made it really easy to install them. For the moment we only use very small tack welds in order to minimise distortion. It also means that if you make a mistake you can go back and correct it very easily without having to grind off massive welds. Having the stiffeners installed before we joined the two halves together then meant it was much easier for us to use jigs and clamps and a pry bar to make sure that the butt weld between the two plates was flat. Using a straight edge and your hand it's very easy to check if the joint's flat or not. Yeah. Once one side was flat and tacked up, we added in a temporary stiffener over the top of all the other stiffeners, which would hold the plate nice and stiff as we flipped it over. We could then flip it over and grind out the seam and put in a few slightly larger welds on the other side, just to make it strong enough for us to install in the boat. Apart from the shape of them, the bulkheads are almost identical to put together. With both of them made, it was time to install them. The location of each bulkhead is marked on the bottom plates and so all we had to do is line up the middle at the centre of the boat with these lines and then tack it in place. It took us three attempts to get the first bulkhead right and that's because we found it much more difficult to line up side to side than we did fore and aft. We found that if you tack the centre in and then worked outwards working on just one side that it pulled the whole plate over and made you not be able to attach the other side in the correct position. So the important thing we found was to attach the centre and work evenly on both sides from the centre line outwards. We use the slots that are cut out of the bulkhead and are the positions of the longitudinals which also have markings on the bottom plate to line up and make sure that we had the bulkhead in evenly. To close the gaps between the bulkhead and the bottom plates, we welded on some temporary eyes and used a chain hoist to winch the top of the bulkhead down to the plates. Before we let go of the bulkhead with the gantry, we added a little bit of support by adding sections of the engine bearers. Having learned lots of lessons on the first bulkhead, the second bulkhead went in first time with no issues at all. Thanks for watching and if you've got any questions just pop them in the comments.